Welcome back to Olaf 2046. Yeah, I'm going to do a review of the a review comparison of the Barber Beaufort jacket versus the Barber Bedell jacket. I had previously talked about these jackets before and but today I'm going to have them side by side and give you guys a showdown of the features and what distinguishes a Beaufort from a Bedell uh, as well as uh, recommendations for um, what jacket is good for you based on your height and size. I'm going to start with the <coughs> with the Beaufort because it's one of the first barber jackets I purchased back in 1999. When I was going to college, I needed a jacket in New York City and I went to Bloomingdale's of all places and I bought this jacket um, for about $379, I believe, at the time. And I originally got the C40 um, size and the barber size, but I'm five foot eight inches tall, 155 pounds. I was even lighter than I was 130 pounds in college. And the C40 was huge on me, but at the time, big jackets were um, more of a thing in the 90s. So, but since then, I, I took it back and got a C38, which is more, um, fits me much more um, proper. Now, this jacket is pretty long, and if you're a tall person, then a Beaufort is more ideal for you. I'm gonna tell you why in this video. Now you have the zipper system and barber jackets are awesome. You have two-way zips, so zip from below. So if you want to access your pockets or anything around your waist, like a gun belt or something like that, it's easy to access there. And this, these jackets are country jackets made for um, someone that's hunting, hunting out in outdoors or any type of sports, outdoor sports. So be, because of that, the sleeves are articulated. So you have full range of mo motion with your arms. The pockets are big bellow pockets here. For um, hand warmer, the pockets also lined with that tartan lining. You have two hand warmer pockets up here, and the hand warmer pockets sit where my stomach sits. On my Bedale jacket, the hand warmer pocket sits up here, and these hand warmer pockets are fleece lined with a green army fleece kind of material. It's army green colored fleece. You also have an extra pocket here, big enough for wow, it's a really big pocket for cell phone keys. Maybe an iPad mini would fit in this pocket. And it has that same fleece lining for warmth, and it zips close. You have the brass snaps in this older um, Beaufort jacket, because this is the Dress Garden, the original A150 but the Bo Beaufort jacket. So you have the Dress Garden tartan lining, as well as the studded snaps in here to snap in a vest. Like if you want to wear um, a liner vest, you can snap that in here. On the newer Beaufort and Bedales, they zip in. These older ones, they snap in. so you'll see these studded vests. And on this one, they're brass gold, finished to match the zipper pole. On the newer, um, the newer ones, the newer um, barber jackets, as well as the um, classic from all the years, it's um, the snaps, just to compare, are a little di different color. So it's a pewter brown instead of a, um, a gold brass kind of color. On the new Beauforts, the um, sage color ones, they're um, the pewter brown snaps. And this is what I mean by the zipping liner. So you have a zipping system on these. Um, the newer jackets all have a zipping system, whereas the older ones have a snapping system. And in the back, you have really big game pockets here. You put big items in that pocket and they zip close. It's like a garage back there. It's Traditionally made for like a shotgun shell or sh shotgun or shotgun shells or any ammunition that you might have while hunting out in the outdoors. Now the tartan on this jacket goes the full length of the jacket. On the bedale, it stops in the middle and it becomes like a waterproof gaiter at the bottom. But the tartan on this goes full down and gives you a lot more protection. So when I'm wearing this, I'm five foot eight inches. Um, it gives me much better protection down here. And this C38 measures 22 inches across the chest between armpits and 31 inches from the bottom of the collar to the hem. And it gives me full coverage. It covers my legs a little bit. So if it's torrential downpour, it will protect me. It's a waterproof coat. And waterproof, it comes with a hood. <laughs> so these um, jackets also have the hood that attaches to the collar with a stud snap-in system there. And um, it's a smart hood. I'm gonna put the hood on and show you guys how it looks. But the hood is also waxed cotton and it's a waterproof hood as well. And the hood retails separately for about $45 to $60 retail. Give you guys, there's no inside pockets. It's just um, just a tartan lining. And you see there, it's the Barber Beaufort C38. 
A150 is the code. I took my name off of this a couple years ago. I was going to sell this jacket online. Um, but I realized it's just a jacket I'll never get rid of because it's awesome. I've had it for almost 20 years now. And um, it's pretty, pretty cool. So the hood snaps right in there. And on the Bedale jacket that I'm going to try on in a minute, it's the same system as the Bedale. So the hood system is exa exactly like a, a Bedale jacket. So the hood snaps in, the hood also has a barber logo. When the hood is worn down, you can see the logo there. And the hood also has a, a tag. So the barber tags this as an A128 waxed cotton hood. And it's, you know, one size. And you can also put your name in the hood. The reason the name tags are on these jackets is when you take them back to get re-waxed or clean at the barber factory, it doesn't get mixed up with someone else's hood that looks the same. So I've never worn this hood, it was a gift. And I guess the person, my girlfriend and now wife at the time thought it was, you know, a cool gift that, you know, for me, but I never really wear the hood. I'm more of an umbrella and jacket guy than a hood and jacket guy. But the hood is pretty awesome. So that's how the hood looks when it's worn down. It sort of coordinates with the cor with the collar, which is corduroy. It's a corduroy lined, warm, kind of fleecy feel collar, so it keeps your neck and your chin warm. I kept the original barber pin on this jacket. I never took it off. It's a lot of people don't like the pin, but I, I'm one of the few people that I really like the pin. So there's a storm flap that comes, a neck gaiter that comes from under the collar, and it connects over here. And what I like about barber jackets, they are well tailored to keep no there's no space over here so it zips well up to the collar of my shirt there's no space it's well tailored there really like that feature and snaps in protects my neck the hood would come over the hood also has a cinching system on this hood so it cinches down which is really cool it's fully waterproof so I could stand in a shower, downpour, and as I'm standing, I'll be completely dry. The bone for this cut longer, so it protects your butt, your thigh area from water coming down from precipitation. But if you're a taller person, like my dad is six foot three, and he he wore a bone for growing up in the house when I grew up. So that's kind of why I bought this jacket as my first barber jacket, because it's what I saw him wear, and I wanted one for myself at the time. But I'm five foot eight inches, I'm not six foot three like my dad. And I realized over the years, or immediately right after I bought this, like a Bedale jacket is more for someone like my height, it's more comfortable for me to wear daily urban commuting in the city. In addition to the hood, you also have storm cuffs on this jacket. It's a gator system, so it's a Velcro close, so it protects my, my shirt cuff and my sweater cuff. Close, it seals it over, so no water gets in. And it seals against your skin really cool and you have a over the over cuff on that jacket so it seals everything in and the sleeves are kind of short but I kind of like that on this jacket but the cuffs the storm cuffs really make up for that for that shortness of the sleeve so it comes comes down it's a little retractable as well as there and that's it it's a longer jacket if you're a taller person you might want to look more to a Beaufort jacket because you get that extra protection as well as the way the arm pockets are the hand warm pockets are much lower down, so if you have really long arms, then it's much more comfortable to warm your hands in these pockets here. The bow for the Bedell by comparison, take that off. So here's my Bedell. I just got this waxed in September, so the, the tag from the factory is still on there. Um, Bedell is much shorter, as you see there, what I meant about the tartan lining. It goes all the way down. This is a dress garden tartan. I love to wear these jackets in the spring season after um, the snow melts, after February, March. Um, love these jackets for then because the color of the tartan is really nice and bright. Now the Bedale has this a waterproof gator system inside, this waterproof flap system inside that sort of breaks the tartan pattern midway to protect your butt from getting wet and protect the tartan itself because the tartan itself is just a cloth fabric and soaks up water if it gets in contact with water. So this gator system down here protects, um, I guess, the rest of the jacket from getting wet on the inside from water coming up because it is a shorter cut jacket. Whereas the Beaufort has the tartan coming all the way down as well. So the Beaufort has the, the big game pockets I showed you here. The Bedale has um, flaps. So it has like a, a door flap here 
I'm gonna try this on in a minute. The Badil that I own is a C36 size. And I got it specifically smaller so I could wear not a sweater with it, but just a shirt. I'll show you guys in a minute. So that's the C36, and this is the A100 Bedale jacket. And I know I'm saying Bedale wrong, I don't care. And the Bedale just have that inside pocket there that the Beaufort does not. So the Bedale does have a chest wallet pocket inside, internally. So I normally wear that Bedale with just a shirt. So I'm gonna fix myself, show you guys how, how it looks. So the reason I got the Bedale in the C36 is because I simply just wanted to wear a nice chilly spring day. I don't really need a bulky sweater. Just the jacket and my shirt. And very comfortable with just the shirt on the jacket. Well, my shirt is coming out my pants. <laughs> so it's very comfortable, it zips up. Shorter zip system, shorter jacket, much shorter than the uh, Beaufort. It measures uh, 29 from the base of the collar to the hem. And in this size, the um, C36, it fits oversized, so it's uh, 21 inches between the armpits um, across the chest. The hand warm pockets, like I mentioned, are up here. So if you're a shorter person, you have shorter arms, it's much more easy to reach, it's much more comfortable. The sleeves on this one is articulated as well, just like the Beaufort is. So you have full articulation on this. The cuffs are a little different. They're um, ribbed knit cuffs, acrylic wool material. So it's not like the waterproof as the um, Beaufort. This keeps you warmer, I think, because it presses against your wrist, it seals in your body heat, much warmer. The pockets are the same bellow pockets, game pockets as the Beaufort, with the tartan lining inside the pocket there. And I mentioned this does not have the zippered pocket here, but the pocket is on the inside there. And they slap to the back, I'll show you guys. So we flap it up, and this is more for equestrian ship equestrian horse riding motorcycle good jacket where you sit down you have these flaps in the back that sort of go up as you sit down though to help in that um that's why i believe these are it's waterproof down here it's not the tartan that comes all the way down so it protects the jacket from getting wet on the inside because and this is wax the waterproof as well both these jackets are waterproof it has a raglan sleeve meaning there's no seam on the shoulder it's just flat so water just comes right off of there it's a really like, nice jacket, I like wearing the, this one in the spring. I no longer wear the Beaufort, that's like going into storage. But this is a Bedell that I still sort of wear in the spring season. Um, contrasted to my, my autumn Bedell that I usually wear in the autumn season here. The tartan, the classic tartan versus the dress garden tartan, it's more of a winter, dark, fall, autumn color versus a springy April, you know, May, Easter, Sunday kind of color of the dress garden. I love the dress garden and Barbara no longer makes a dress garden. So it's a rare addition, rare piece. If you're, if you pick one of these up, um, you don't really see many of these much anymore. And I also have the pin on this as well that I kept on. And this has the same color system as the Beaufort with just the um, chin color as well as the, the stud for the hood. The stud system for the hood is there as well. And I really like it, it's a slim jacket, it's great for spring, spring weather. Um, never gonna get rid of these jackets, I really love them. I've bought that one in 1999, this one I bought in maybe 2001. And uh, this was original retail 359, 369, the Beaufort was 379, 399. And they're a lifetime jacket, so I've had these almost 20 years now, and I expect to have them for another 20 years. So, um, great jackets, if you're, um, in the market looking. The newer Bedale and Beaufort jackets in the sage green color has a different tartan. It's the ancient tartan, which is a little different. Um, it's not as bright as this tartan. And the brass snaps are a dark brown instead of the gold, shiny gold. So keep that in mind. Um, but it's overall the same jacket. Um, love the wax in this. I just got this rewax. The rewaxing of these jackets are about in the US, in New York, it cost me $45, including the shipping and everything like that. It took about two weeks. Uh, if you do it in the summer season, it takes about two weeks. So it's really easy to maintain, and the relaxing is about, you could do it every five to 10 years, depending on how often you wear a jacket. So it's not super expensive to upkeep. 
and that's it about this that's the Beaufort versus the Bedell jacket that I just showed you uh, any questions like subscribe um, write questions below comments welcomed I welcome all comments uh, and subscribe if you like what you see more videos are coming I promise you guys more um, various videos of product reviews and um, I'm gonna go back to main car maintenance as well as modification of videos for BMW and Mercedes and that's it thank you guys have a great weekend have a great holiday season bye